Let's now see a demonstration on tables, temporary and transient. In this demonstration, you are going to talk about tables that store the data in the form of rows and columns. Permanent tables are created in the database which are persisted and they remain in the memory till the time you are not dropping them. Similarly to those relational databases, tables Snowflake supports creating temporary tables which can hold the non-permanent data. Many times you just need the data for the current session and that is the reason why you work with the temporary tables other than the temporary tables. Snowflake also provides the transient tables which will persist until explicitly it is dropped and will be available to all the users with the appropriate privileges. These tables are called transient tables will be designed for transitory data that needs to be maintained beyond the current session. Now let us see how you can work on creating the temporary and the transient tables and how it can be mapped with the permanent tables. Now you can just create one more new worksheet and name this worksheet as tables. Select the database as MyDB with the schema as public. You will create a table called let's say vehicle. For the table vehicle, you can go for maybe a registration number. Let's say it is of the type string. It can be alphanumeric. Other than this, you can take the category and it may be an integer. Maybe 1 for the 2-wheeler, 2 for the 3-wheeler, 4 for the 4-wheeler and so on and so forth. Let's run this query. The table vehicle has been successfully created. Let's say show the tables. And here you are with one more table added by the name of the vehicle. First, you are going to work with something known as temporary tables. A temporary table in Snowflake is visible only within the current session. Temporary tables will only exist within the session in which it is created and it is going to persist only for the remainder of the session. The moment session ends, the system will automatically purge the data stored in a temporary table and you cannot recover the data from the temporary table. Now let us see how you can come up and create a temporary table. If you have the table called vehicle, if you execute this command called select star from a vehicle and run this query. As of now, you have no data. So, very quickly, you will say insert into a vehicle. Let's say the registration number goes like PB10AL2937. The type is 2. So, 2 wheeler and you will just come here and insert maybe some 4 records. Let us see. So the category is 1. 1 means car or 2 means bike. You can consider it anywhere around some of the vehicle registration numbers. You can just put across. Let's now say insert. And now you can say select all from the vehicle. Here you are with a table called permanent table vehicle. Data is going to be available permanently. Now you can come up and create one of the temporary tables. Then say create and you will just use these temporary tables as the keyword. Here you will say the table. As you will notice you are going to create a table, a temporary table which is exactly the same as my permanent table. You will have both the same columns. You are going to have the registration number as a string and the category as an integer. Let us now execute this temporary table vehicle. And there is a temporary table vehicle that has been successfully created. Which generally means that even if you have the permanent table, you can create the temporary tables in the snowflake with the same name. Like the other table types, temporary tables will belong to a specified database and schema. 
However, because this is session based, it will not be bound by the same unique name requirements. This is why you can use the same name as you have even in the permanent table. With this part, there are a few of the restrictions which are available on the temporary tables. Let us say show tables first of all. And what you can notice here is that you are able to see only the list of permanent tables coming up, not the temporary table. These tables are not visible to the other users or the sessions. And these temporary tables do not support standard features. For example, if you want to clone the data, clone operation is not possible and the data will not be recoverable. At the same time, the temporary tables have no fail-safe period. The moment session ends, your table is gone. Let us now see the way you got temporary tables in a similar way. You have the transient tables. The transient tables do not have a fail-safe period and it will provide a good option for managing the cost of very large tables which are used to store some transitory data. In case you or Snowflake cannot recover the data after the time travel retention period passes, you should be aware of this important point here. In order to create a transient table, you just need to use the transient keyword. And let us note one more important point here. You have to create a transient table vehicle. Now, you do already have one of the permanent tables available as a vehicle. Other than the temporary, if you try to work with the transient, it is going to give you an error which typically means that you cannot create the transient tables with the same name as a temporary table. Transient tables will belong to a specified database and schema. However, because they are not session based, they are bound by the same unique name requirements. Now, you are having a fair understanding of the difference. Temporary tables are session bound, whereas transient tables are not session bound and they belong to the specified database and schema. You cannot have transient tables with the same name as the permanent tables. Let us try to come up and create a transient table. Let us say vehicle underscore transient and run this query. So this transient table has been created. Let us say show tables. Now the transient table is visible. As you can see, the type is coming as transient. And you even have now the vehicle coming as temporary. One vehicle is the permanent table. Another one is temporary. And the third one coming up here is the transient table. There are a few restrictions that are once again available on the transient table as well. You cannot create the transient table with the same name as that of a permanent table, which you have always seen at the same time. The transient table, just like the temporary table, will not support the feature known as clothing. The data in the transient table cannot be recovered after the time travel retention period has passed, which means that the transient tables have no fail-safe period as well. There is one more thing that the transient tables that is supposed to be dropped explicitly by the user whenever you're trying to finish off the session. The permanent table and how you can have temporary and the transient tables created, just the two keywords temporary and the transient. The other operations you can perform in the same way. Of course, in the end, these two tables are nothing but it is the kind of temporary support. If you want to copy some data or maybe use the table in between the sessions, you can come across it. With this, we conclude the demonstration on tables temporary and transient. For more details, check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success Certified.